Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to the last episode of the Eight Stages of Psychosocial Development. So last time we talked about uh, generativity versus stagnation, but today we're going to be talking about integrity versus despair, the final stage of all eight. Now this one doesn't really take place until you're like elderly, 60s or older, I guess technically that's where that category takes place. But I digress. Technically, this is one of those stages, once again, that kind of transitions throughout your entire life, but doesn't have the most impact until this particular point in time. Integrity, for example. So... A better way of looking at this would be... Like, integrity is a pretty good word to stand by, but if you're going to change despair... Um... Probably the best word for it would be self-loathing. Or best term. When it comes to this particular comparison, this is the part of your life where you'll start mourning the most on the past and say, what should have I done? What could have I done? What did I do? What could have I been? What should have I been? Or look at me. Look at what I've become. Kind of thing. Most of these statements kind of, um, they support the despair side of all this. Um, but that's because a lot of people have a tendency to go about life and they'll be like, what could have I changed to better this? In that sense, it sounds like both, integrity or despair, but it depends on what words fill in the blanks. Because it creates two different types of mindsets. One of them is, I've wasted my life away. I could have done better in blank, 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 and blank. In that case, yeah, it's definitely despair. But if it's integrity, you the person would look back at their life and go, that point was a fantastic moment in life, but what could have I done to make it even better that I could probably do now kind of thing. Now, sometimes these kind of things can kick in much earlier, but generally it's not so much the case. Now, depending on how humble or self-conscious you are, really depends on which side of this duo really happens to you. It also has an impact based off the previous seven stages cumulatively to come up with what would your mind think of this final one if you were raised properly and you had proper morals along the way you'd most likely end up with integrity however if you hit a negative standpoint in i would say maybe two or three of all the previous seven stages you're most you're you're most likely going to end up down the path where you'll end up despairing a lot and you'll be going like this could have been better if this happened. Why didn't it? It's been emphasized. Now, bear in mind, um, just because this is in the sense where you don't have any kind of like depression or anxiety or anything like that. Because those kind of things can honestly impact you getting this kind like the despair side of this. Anyway, unless you're able to fight it back really well. Doesn't mean it always happens, but it's very beneficial when it does. As for me specifically, it's kind of a 50-50 role. Sometimes I'll think one way, sometimes I'll think another. But I'm more of a hypothetical person than anything else, so it's kind of hard for me to not have both there. But I guess deep down, the way I look at it, this is something that probably could have happened, but it didn't. Nothing I can do about it now, so I might as well just forget it. Well, not forget it, but that's probably one way of phrasing it. Now, whether that's integrity... It's kind of that midpoint of integrity and despair. It has some despair within, but it also has some integrity. This, The reason this particular stage is a bit confusing is due to the fact that... It's more due to the fact that... Um, 
A person's mindset can really alter that kind of thing. Hi, Pink Fox. Pink Fox in the house. Their integrity was actually one of the five habits of heart and mind I learned in middle school. There was integrity, respect, honesty, trustworthiness, and something else. I can't remember the other one. Kindness, I think it was. Lessons like that can actually teach you to mentally... If you if you have trouble learning through certain sources, it can also... Classes like the ones she had attended can help you mentally teach yourself that kind of stuff. That way you're well more prepared for future stages. Pink Fox here. The past three stages I've talked about, she's pretty much already bypassed all of them. Which ones? Well, like this one, Integrity versus Despair. The previous few were Generativity versus Stagnation, which... We've talked about that one before. Int intimacy versus isolation, which... I wasn't allowed to have a relationship until I was 18. Basically... Okay, there's no one in it. If people heard that, then there's a difference or something. I don't know. But anyway, the last one that could be impacted with classes like that would be something that most people consider, and you can find this out in a previous video. It's identity versus role confusion, but in other words, it's also more well known as whether or not you experience an identity crisis, which, again, talked about in a previous episode. You guys can go check that out in the playlist shown later on at the end of this video. Regardless, this one has definitely already bypassed all the stages, or at least what to expect from them. She's only 20 years old. Is that a good thing? Yes, that is a really good thing. Okay, good. Especially since you, for the most part, taught yourself to do that. Through that these is kind true. of through these kind of um, classes. Well, it was because I was in a program. Like I was only one of the hundred people accepted in middle school to be in that program. Mm. And in that program, they taught you the five habits of heart and mind every day. They try to drill it in your head. That's something I'm gonna have to have you talk about on here because I know nothing about that. <laughs> Either that, or I'll have to learn it myself and then talk about it. I don't know. We'll see where that goes. But I don't know. Thoughts on these eight stages? This is pretty much where it ends. Integrity versus despair. How you end your life is really how you think in this sense. Are you always going to be happy? Because if you're not, you always carve a day off your life. Yeah. The less happy you are, happier you are, the more, you, the younger you'll die. Because the reason that actually fits in very well with this particular stage. The reason for that is those who despair. It's because they're doing it through too much stress and they're mourning and stressing themselves over a past that's already happened that they can't change. Those who have integrity over it and accept it as it is, they go about it in a more optimistic manner and they have a longer time span where they can actually improve on that anyway. The things that I've been through in my life, I was actually held on to for about 18 years of my life up until about a year and a half ago. And when I let go of that, a lot of good things started happening for me. So, I met this dork. That, that does sound about right when it comes to that kind of front. It does make a lot of sense. Anyway, I don't, I don't know. Any more thoughts on this particular thing? Just be happy and smile. That. Well, <laughs> like, like that. Be happy and smile. I just pulled... There's the end of that. That's the end of the mic. I need to fix that. I don't know how that happened. Anyway, we're gonna leave this here. Oh I my lord! Just wanted to double check. How did that happen anyway? There we go. Problem solved. Problem solved. Cause you're solved. crazy. That's how it happened. That happened because it probably got unscrewed or something. I don't know. I need to fix that. Anyway, gonna leave this here. Thanks for tuning in for this series, everyone. Say bye. Bye. Gonna leave the playlist on the side of my head here for you guys to check out the rest of this series if you missed any of it, and if you have interest, or if you uh, want to check out anything else that might suit you more, the other side will have one of those for you. But yeah, gonna head off. We'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Push the like button if you did, and consider subscribing if you have not yet. Bye, guys.